Silva at SDCC 2012, talking Beware the Batman with Glenn Murakami and Mitch Watson, my two Bat Buddies. What, uh, what is it that's going to separate Beware the Batman from previous incarnations of the Batman cartoons? Uh, I mean, right off the bat, the biggest thing will be the villains, different, completely different villains, no, of, no villains you've ever seen before, and probably a lot of villains that you actually didn't even know, unless you're a huge, huge comic unless book fan, comics. yeah, you're not going to know who some of these guys are, and certainly because we were able to change some of them, you're, even if you know who they are, you're not going to know exactly what they're going to uh, do. Now, you guys are pulling villains uh, from more current comic books. Are, are we going to be seeing stories uh, that are original to the, to the series, or are we going to see some things that are pulled from uh, more current contemporary storylines? Uh, it's different. Yeah, it's different, pretty much. I mean, I think Pig and Toad are probably the most well-known, since they're most recent, from the Grant Morrison comic books. and. We pretty much pulled them as characters, but not their storyline. No. Um, part of the reason being that Pig's storyline is way too dark for us. So, you know, and in the in the comic books, my memory is they're not. They are partners. They work together, but they're. I mean, we really made them a duo. These mm -hmm. two guys, and we gave them a motif and the whole deal. So. Yeah, we, visually we pulled stuff from the comics, but that's pretty much where it ended. Although Magpie, which is a character from the 80s, which really looks like a character from the 80s, <laughs> was completely redesigned. So I mean, we've taken the essence of all the characters and we've put sort of a different spin on it. You know, there's some stuff we can't adapt because it's too complicated or... or um, Not fit for a kid's show? Yeah. 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 I mean, there's only certain things we can we can do. You can't, you know, you can't kill people no. on these shows. You can't show, you can't really show blood and, and those kind of things. So right there, you know, pigs, you yeah, know, psychoticness. But we can give mouth. him, you know, we can make him still have a doctor and a kit bag and bone saws and all yeah. those crazy things. We just can't have him twisted. Yeah, we just can't have him no. burning, you know, s s people's faces you off. Can't and, like Graham you know, Morrison, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, now the the cast is uh, definitely different. We have Alfred. Uh, up to the front lines, no more the uh, the, the that Com is Butler. A, that's a that's a misconception. Oh, okay. Um, that's the, the from, poster that's makes from it look the poster. Gun toting and, and ready to go. Glenn, would you like to explain how that poster came to be? I mean, the poster was that was a piece of promo art, yeah. pretty yeah. much. It, it wasn't supposed to get out, and then it did. I mean, you can't it made people a, nervous. You can't have an action pose of a guy standing with a tray. Yeah. <laughs> it just it it's not a very yeah. dynamic that, looking yeah. poster. So, but I mean. We didn't. We're not the only ones who've given Alfred a gun. We're not no. the only ones who've said that's what Alfred's. Past and it, it is, yeah. you know, kind of back to yeah. his yeah. early storylines. Being lines. front and center, though. That I mean, the first thing I was that, that question has come up before. Okay. Um, and the first thing I was going, no, he's not going to be running around by Batman's side because then they'd go, wait a minute, isn't that Bruce Wayne's butler? <laughs> you know, and then you're done. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the series is over. So that was it. Was for the poster to okay. show the sort of these are our main. You know, there's Katana, there's Alfred, and there's Batman, yeah, yeah. and there's some villains Just in the let background. Us know who the cast exactly. is exactly, and the but, double fisted. You know, but we did pitch our our take on Alfred to DC, and DC said, "Well, you know, that's interesting that you're doing that because we're doing something similar to that." Oh. So, um, I, I think we're being still true to the character it's yeah. just we're focusing on those aspects of the character yeah i mean we you know i think in this version of alfred it, it, people might at first be oh, but they're gonna I, you know we said it early on and and we got a lot of notes about that like, okay you guys you're making alfred is the fucking he's in a great whoops uh no, he's I'm sorry a, it's the internet oh it's the internet uh you know that we were there's a wow you're making Alfred a really cool character. I, Make I sure know, that he doesn't I become that too at, cool. I said you know, that too at certain times that Alfred has the had the potential of almost upstaging Batman a yeah. couple times. So we're like, now nah, we got to kind of. He can this shine down. once in a while. Oh, well, he does. no, but Trust I mean, me. in the yeah. beginning, the way we were talking about the character, it was real easy for it to start turning into the Alfred show, and yeah. we're like, nah, we we got to back off. Yeah, Batman's that. in the title. We should probably yeah. let him yeah. have a couple lines. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, but he's. I think people will really like him. I think they're going to be. He said, I think it, at first it's going to be, oh, wow, he's, you know, because he's, he's, he's Sean Connery from The Untouchables. He's, nice. he's badass. He's, nice. uh, he's a former MI6 guy who, mm -hmm. when he was Batman, you know, when he was in his 30s, like, like Batman is now, he, he was, he was kicking ass, yeah, he you is. know. He was kind of an early version of Batman. Batman. Yeah. So, and now he's just an older version of that, so he mm -hmm. can't get around quite as much, and that's why he stays more in the background. But he can still kick ass when he needs Absolutely. to. And we see that. We get to see that. So it's Absolutely. fun. But we're, we're excited. You know, we can't wait uh, to see it. Uh, when's it going to be coming out? Are we going to be seeing it 
This fall, maybe? Or no. Uh, next, next year? Next year. Next year. Next year. Right. Yeah, next it, year. It takes that long yeah. to produce the CG um, because it's literally we're building sets, literally mm -hmm. we're building characters, and then we're physically putting the characters into that space. Yeah. So it's not like 2D where we just draw it. We have to yeah. kind of build it before we film it. Mm -hmm. So um, Yeah, like we wanted, I mean, we, we're, there's an episode where that takes part of this, the climax of the episode takes place on the top deck of a ship in 2D. We wouldn't have had to build that ship. We would just no, have to build the top deck, and then you'd see the little characters. But it's like, no, we, now, now we got to build the ship. Yeah. Yeah. So that's great. You know, those are the kind of things, nightmares that we give Glenn <laughs> to do. Well, we are. We are definitely excited. We can't wait. So next year, beware of the Batman. It's coming out right at you. So until next time, I'll see you later. Those who would hurt the innocent, I give you this one warning. Beware my wrath. <laughs> <laughs>